Hello everyone, Silvermoon here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play, the Pokemon trading card game for Game Boy Color. In the last episode, we beat Ronald at the Rock Club. Rock Club, not Rocks Club. Get your facts straight. Anyways, after beating Ronald at the Rock Club, we trade with Ishihara, and we beat the members of the Psychic Club, but not the leader because we can't get fight him until duel him, I should say, until we have five medals. Since it's gonna take a while, Ishihara has another trading card card to trade with us that I forgot to mention last episode. Hello, Jacob. I I suppose you're here because you heard that I was looking for a ditto this time. I'm thinking about trading my flying Pikachu for one. Do you have a ditto? Yes, we do. Oh, wonderful. Then, without delay, Jacob traded a ditto for our flying Pikachu. And we got a promotional card flying Pikachu. And I already have a failed recording of this. And fly can prevent all attacks of attacks during their opponent's next turn, or absolutely nothing. So give that in mind. Thank you for this teacher. You have been a great help. Now I'm going to I dual my Imakuni once more off screen. So I'm going to show you what what you get for being the third time. By going into quite a few clubs that I haven't been to yet. So, hang tight while I find a new cootie for you guys. Right in the club I was going to do this episode after Emu Cooney. Hi, Emu Cooney. Huh? Who, who are you? Who? Me? Don't you know who I am? Tingle, tingle, koodle, limpa? I'm just kidding. I am the super musical star. Emu Cootie? I'll say the poker out. You dance. Uh, I forget how it goes. Victory Bell Moltres? Something like that? I don't know. La di da, la di da, la di da, la di da. Hey! Who are those feet? What? Cards? Okay, you wanna duel me? Okay, but if I win, you dance! We'll duel him, of course. Okay, one match duel with six prizes. Whatever that means. Now you get to see what happens when we beat Imakuni three times in a row. You won three times against me! Does that make you happy? Does it? I don't really want to give you this, but here, take care of it. We get the promotional card, Imakuni. The most useless trainer card in the game, but you still need it for collection purposes, and I'm a collector at heart, so I'm not gonna be angry at it, like... Like attacking two hands probably would be at this point. Both cars and dance, so I'll learn the secret. Hey, that sounds pretty cool. Maybe I'll become a poet. And he heads off. But we can still battle. I can still duel him off screen for you guys. He was right behind you the whole time and you didn't even notice. Alright, now we're in the water club. And let's go straight to the club master. Hey, stop! This is a restricted area. Amy, the clubmaster, is resting. The person resting over there is Amy, the clubmaster. If you wish to duel Amy, go defeat Sarah and Amanda first. Then I will test your skill. And if by chance you should win, I will introduce you to Amy, the clubmaster. Alright. So let's start by dueling this blonde right here. Doesn't it feel good to relax by the pool? Isn't it wonderful to duel in a place like this? Would you like to duel Amanda? You bet we would! Okay, we'll play with three prizes. It'll be a one match duel. One of the few other people that does this. In fact, I think it's only the uh, one of the two other people that does this. Lonely Friends deck. Amanda's deck focuses on filling up her bench with, with trainer cards that act like basic Pokemon, such as Clefairy Doll and Mystery as possible. Why fill up her bench? Because Wigglytuff. And we won! That was a bit more hectic than it needed to be. Oops, I lost! Now I'm in trouble! Mystery booster pack! Lapras. Another double colorless. 
All right, Moltres, okay, that's not as useful as it could be. Considering we only be already at the grass club. Losing kind of destroys the atmosphere of the place. And if you win, if you lose she's to her, she says, winning in this kind of place makes the win all the more sweeter. Or something like that. Feels so good to swim in the pool. Do you want to take a swim, or would you rather duel? Well, you bet we'll duel you. There will be two prizes. The duel will be a match. Only duelist that duels with two prizes. Okay, let's start. Waterfront Pokemon. Sarah's deck focuses on healing her own Pokemon and inflicting paralysis and lowering your chances of attacking with attacks like Smoke Screen, Psy Shock, and Spacing Out. Because of the two prize setup of this duel, the only two prize duel in the game, this is a pretty effective strategy and should not be underestimated. And I win! I win, I win, I win! Win of what? What the hell am I singing like that for? Uh oh, I guess I lost. Maybe I shouldn't have been swimming so much. You get Coliseum Booster Pack for beating her. Gyarados, that's what I got from her last time. Gyarados again. And a game won me out. Guess I have to practice one before my card game. So now, we can fight Joshua. So let's duel him. You must be pretty good if you defeated Sarah and Amanda. As promised, I'll test your skills. If you win, I'll introduce you to Amy. Yes, let's duel Joshua! Okay, this will be a one match duel with four prizes. Sound of the waves. Joshua's deck is similar to Nikki's in the way that it uses a lot of different basic Pokemon and evolution chains that are pretty tough, most notably Lapras, which can inflict confusion or 30 damage and has 80 HP, meaning it can last a lot longer. Though he will evolve if you give him enough time, just take him out as fast as you can, shouldn't pose a threat. Alright, we win! What? How can I lose? Mystery Booster Pack! Why there are two club members who give out Mystery Booster Packs? I will have no idea. Get Lapras, okay. And an Omastar! That's something I need to trade. Oh, a right on. That's another one that I need. Well, since I promise, I'll introduce you to Amy. Don't think that you're good just because you defeat me. You still have Amy here at the Water Club. Amy, please wake up. Well, what's going on? I was just enjoying a little nap. Well, um. Well, um. Pss, pss, pss. What? You lost? What? You lost? How could you? Was it Jacob? I'll be your next opponent. I, Amy, the master of the water club. Not yet. No? How boring. I was looking forward to getting your Pokemon train guards. Well, come see me again. Well, she just goes on. So, I'm gonna go really quickly go to the... The fighting club and trade. Give that, those cards to that guy. Hi, it's you. What's up? Yes, we are going to give you our Omastar. He doesn't give us anything yet, but exit, re-enter. So, maybe exit out of the entire club and re-enter. Um, maybe head to a different club? And go back? Or maybe I ju it's just ran in and you need to do duels in between. But yeah, he requires three different cards before he will give you a uh, card from him. So, let's, now let's go duel Amy. Aren't you Jacob? So you decided you want to duel me? You bet we do! Okay, a one match duel with six prizes. Let's do it! episode is going to go on a bit longer. Ha! I'm the best! Come see me again sometime. I'd like another duel. Well, I'm gonna give you one now, lady! Amy's deck focuses on evolving all the way to Blastoise so she can quickly power up her Pokemon. And in addition, she has some pretty darn good AI, so be sure to take care of her as fast as possible. Awesome! We win!
The duel with Amy. Oh no! I lost? Since I lost, you can have this water medal. You mean water club master medals. Man, this should get you a step closer to inheriting legendary cards. We got the water medal now! Here, you can also have these. They should come in handy. Laboratory booster pack! Polyrap! Sorry guys, my recording audio got cut off here for some odd reason. Blame recording at such a high processor demand. But, anyways, just going through what I got in the booster packs. Maybe I should skip over this. And, uh, maybe I should mention, since I didn't give much thought to Amy, her deck does involve Black Toys and Rain Dance, which allows her to attach as much water energy as she wants. But enough about that. Once you get... Well, first I'm going to show off the auto deck machine, of course, showing you what kinds of decks you can build with the watermelon. Just give me a moment, of course, myself, found the deck. And none of these, except for the Rain Dancer deck, really have anything to do with the decks used in the club. A running theme with it, it seems. But anyways... Yeah, focus it. Yeah, this is basically Amy's deck. So, after that, I believe... Let's see. After that, I'm just checking out stuff, making sure that I can... There's nothing else I can do. But, there's a very important event that happens after you get your third club member. You want to head... Okay, so I'm heading to the rock club to check to see if there's any new news. By the way, that that news only happens once per time you turn on your game, your cartridge or re soft reset. So if you don't have, if you took care of the trade, you're good for now. Now, once you get the club mail, go to the challenge bar, and as you can hear from the music, there is a challenge cup going on. So what you want to do of course, is saved before this. I cannot stress this enough, because if you do not get the prize, you are not going to get completion 100% for all the cards. Not that you could anyway, thanks to the card pop exclusive cards, but the prize is the level 16 YouTube. Uh, yes, the YouTube film. So, of course, I'm going to check my email, so prepare for a bit more exposition on decks, on the decks of the Clubmaster I already duel and kind of explained. Sometimes I feel like I don't give enough t thought to the amount of time that it's going to take me to explain a deck. So let's see here, yeah, two new emails, one explaining Amy's deck right here, which I already kind of went over, and of course, an attached booster pack at the end, which is always good. Why it's the just Psychic Mail deck machine here, I have no idea, since Lightning Pokemon would be more powerful against this deck, as, as I pretty much showed. Though there are some more Pokemon that are specifically weak to grass types, like the Poliwag Evolution Chains. And this one gives you suggestions on how to build your own deck. I kinda. I do this off screen, but it's just just changing our their index one at a time, which I already kind of did for my for the first club. As I was in, as a matter of fact. So yeah, nothing much new in this deck, but you get two of them, two different booster packs from this email. So that's always a good thing. But I get a Charizard. That's gonna be important for later if I'm gonna show, I'm showing all the trades. But yeah, this music will always play if there's a challenge cup here, so you really want to make sure. But with that, I'm going to cut this here. So thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.